all right y'all welcome back to the channel i'm making this video simply because youtube told me i wasn't working hard enough <laughs> but really this is just a slice of a much bigger video that i'm working on for the xh2s as a full review so make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so you'll be notified when that video drops obviously here's the first test as you can see right now uh how well is it tracking I don't know we're gonna find out we're gonna find out how good this is, really is but let me give you some context real quick um, and the reason why I purchased the XH2S this is going to be my content creation workhorse camera so from vlogging to b-roll to a-roll like this uh, this is going to be my do-it-all camera when I'm not using my 6k pro for bigger projects so there are a few things I wanted to see improved over the X-T4 over the X-T4 when moving to the X-H2S. One of them being, um, how well does it track my face once I put my glasses on and the face auto detection. I know the X-T4 struggled with that. It didn't know who I was once you put glasses on. Two, what are the best lenses out there? Three, um, how well does it pulse or does the pulsing stop or is it still kind of plaguing these cameras? And four, how does it detect an object once I put something in frame? Um, will it override the face auto detection or would it seamlessly go between the object or in the face once I put it up and down? So some of the things I want to see in that case. You see her? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't. So there are actually several steps to get the best autofocus out of the X-H2S and it starts with the lenses, well I believe. And so right now I'm not using any adapters, I'm using all native lenses. I don't have a ton, but here are the lenses I'm going to be using. I have my trusty FX18 1.4 as well as my fx as well as my as well as well as my as well as my the 10 to 24 lm fx and the wildcard lens which is this the 13 viltrox 1.4 and we'll kind of touch on that a little bit later but the key thing i wanted to just point out is that the fuji lenses that are native that have the linear motor system perform way better in autofocus for video than all the older lenses i hope that fujifilm will create more high quality video centric lenses for this system just because the autofocus has improved so yeah i just want to point that out because the lenses are very important so that being said when it comes to autofocus i use it here and there just for a few instances uh, mainly for this because i am just making videos by myself so i would have to say the autofocus is more reliable in this instance so that's a huge plus so to set up the autofocus to my preference i do like more slower gradual transitions versus it being quick and snappy and snap i believe my sensitivity is set to zero and my speed is set to negative four and that's why i kind of like the sweet spot so yeah let's uh let's move on with this so I did ask for a specific uh, test from you all from our Discord as well as the community tab on this channel. And if you're not in the Discord, make sure to check out the links in the description. We're having a good time. We're about to reach 500 uh, uh, Discordians, I guess you can say. Make sure to check out the uh, da -da 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 chapter markers in this video to find what might be interesting to you in terms of the test that I'm going to be doing. So what I'm going to do right now is kind of just walk between here because that was one of the questions like, hey, does it pick your face when uh, you enter the frame in and out? I've done that a few times in this video. Okay, I'm just going to just turn my back and uh, walk away. I'm so skinny. I could probably vanish behind this tree right now. Did it pick me up? Now, the funny thing, this is a wide lens. This would be a lot better on a much more telephoto lens, but let's just see where it picks me up as I'm walking towards the camera. Hi, how are you? And then I'm gonna go walk away again. Back turn, back turn, still visible. I'm gonna go out of frame. I am so sorry, I realize I totally did the YouTube thing where I asked you to follow me here and follow me there. Yeah, I'm not that sorry, actually. 
it's it's, it's it is what it is and i hope you do because we have a good time so as you can see i'm in frame now this is pretty heavy backlit situation it's pretty extreme actually this angle is really weird i might dig it once i see it but uh yeah i'm gonna step out sun gonna peek in does it still try to find me i see the box i see what it's trying to do and i'm coming back now again this is the 10 to 24 i'm at 10 mil and i have a five percent cine bloom on here now five percent is the weaker of all of the cine bloom line we have five percent ten percent and twenty um i prefer five because it's just the subtle you know subtle softness that i prefer rather than the ten percent it's a little strong but uh, in this case i don't know if it's affecting the image but you be the judge yeah okay moving on Now again, this is an extreme example of a backlight situation. How it performs is not make or break for me. Now if it's for you, then let me know in the comments below. Now let's get back to the settings and another key component is selecting the focus mode. And in all Fuji cameras you have two options, area or multi. And to be honest I have yet to find a purpose for using multi as an autofocus setting um, for any of these cameras, especially in the X-H2S because it seems to change the behavior and negate whatever settings you have dialed in so for instance i had you know zero sensitivity and AO speed between maybe two negative two and negative three and it just acts totally different but if i'm doing this completely wrong please let me know in the comments below because i i i like the idea of it where you don't have to be near or around the area box but the area mode for the focus mode is so much more superior than multi so that's what i recommend using area versus multi now, with the area focus mode, I wish the box was a little bit bigger. I covered a little bit more of that frame, but hey, again, it still works. It picks up where it needs to pick up, and it's reading the it's reading the frame much better than multi. Multi gets freaked out with whatever's in frame, or it tends to back focus way more and tries to hunt a little bit more. It's just it's not great to use. And eight times out of ten, the area focus mode will hold and find its focus way better and way faster than the multi focus mode. I customize how I access all the alt focus settings. So, so the top D pad toggles between manual focus and continuous focus. Very simple, straight to the point. My left D pad toggles between uh, face detection on and off. The right D pad toggles between objects i wish you can have a second layer of menus with this one because since there are five extra focus modes i wish that i can access all of them from this front screen rather than diving back in and the down d-pad selects the focus mode and i might change this because i'm going to just stick to area this Viltrox is nice this has actually been a really good performance wise because it's not hunting it's thinking a little bit more it's sticking better to my face especially with like if there was a bright light or a contrast change like this it's trying to find my face but it's not losing that whole frame where it starts to do that hunting but this is actually a really good sign because obviously i'm using this as my content creation camera and i want something reliable sony's reliable so and canon's reliable so this is actually a very very good sign i'm very happy um, especially with this com combination, this is the, again, Viltrox 13 mil. And this is a great option for wide angle lenses with autofocus and autofocus is here. It's great, the motors are quiet. And I keep looking over to the screen so I'm looking at the, the boxes here. But yeah, this is, this, is, this is the setup. This is what I wanted to see and it is really doing well. And hopefully there'll be more improvements because 
supposedly this AI in the XH2S is supposed to learn. It's supposed to get better, I guess, if I heard that right. Probably butchered that, but yeah, very pleased and it's sticking. And hopefully it's sticking well enough where there's no pulsing. Speaking about low light, some of you guys were actually asking to do some tests and funny enough we did do a little bit of low light stuff and um, this is where the setup kind of shine in this instance. We had the Fujifilm X-H2S mounted on the Ronin RS3 Pro and the Viltrox 13mm. So I, I have a few raw clips and I'm just going to just let those roll so you can kind of see uh, what that looks like. Now, I know there are several areas I did not touch on, like the dedicated subject tracking for train, animal, bike, motorbike, and airplane. I have used the car autofocus, but I didn't want to really go into that because the setup that we were using, at the time I had the 8 to 16 ultra wide lens for the Fujifilm camera, and that's very a very beefy and very cool lens to use, but it didn't have any um, filter thread, and I knew that going in. But um, I say that because everything was in deep focus. I was at f11, f16, what have you, and so um, it was tracking the car, but I mean, everything was in focus, so you really can see what was uh, happening. You can't see if it was like pulsing or losing focus. Everything was in focus, so um, I didn't really want to bring that up. Now you might ask yourself, is this getting closer to Sony and Canon's autofocus? And I would have to say yes. Fujifilm jumped ahead of the rest of the competitors in this space and they are now, I won't say comfortably, but they are sitting in third place in my books when it comes to autofocus and the new autofocus system. But will Canon and Sony shooters jump to the X-H2S? Absolutely not, probably not. Um, but this is the best hybrid system you can buy, I think, for the Super 35 sensor and all the offerings it can do. And right out the box, the Fujifilm X-H2S is the best Fujifilm content creation camera you can buy. And with one or two updates with the autofocus, this camera will compete with the juggernauts on the market. And that's what I believe because it's that close. It just needs it just needs to stick a little more and I don't know what that can I don't know how that's possible. <laughs> Maybe it is software, but um if this is some sort of again learning detection autofocus system, um having a stick will be a much more gratifying use uh, for this. And that gets me super excited for future updates. Now, where else can Fujifilm improve? Well, I think it's in the lenses. Right now, a lot of these lenses are catered just for photography. Now, the newer LM lenses like the uh, 18, the 33, the 23, 33, those lenses are a lot better and the focus system is catered to better autofocus. But if we had more video specific lenses that will have like breathing compensation or um, ways to dial in a much more uh, organic uh, focus pull that will be much more pleasing for video shooters who want to use this camera like I'm using it for a lot of different instances now I know that's not the roadmap we don't know what the summit's going to bring coming up in a few weeks but um, I would like to see that improved I think that will be a much um, beneficial way to go to really feed into this new way of filmmaking with Fujifilm cameras have better lenses obviously you'll have your manual lenses and stuff but if I'm looking at Panasonic and Sony they're making their lenses for video features in mind but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video um, let me know what you think of the X-H2S this is something you're going to be picking up and you consider does this video help you make that decision and also share this video with someone who might be on the fence with the X-H2S I know it's just an autofocus video but I am very happy to report that it's in it's headed in the right direction so all that being said stick around make sure to subscribe to the channel there will be more content coming out and I'll catch you guys next time I'm going to eat some lunch bye